Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about a couple of things regarding the Pacquiao Mayweather fight, recent developments. Sky Sports Box has actually gotten the rights to show this fight in the United Kingdom. Right now it's interesting. Let's do the exchange rate. One US dollar equals 0.67 British pound sterling, right? As of today, March 24th, 2015. Now apparently in the UK, you're gonna be able to order this Mayweather fight for 19.95 pounds. Right? Converted to U.S. dollars, that's $29.67. Right? If you have other packages, you'll get the fight for slightly more. 24.95 pounds, which translates to $37.11. Now, let me just say this. The fight's breaking all kinds of box office records. The live gate is supposed to exceed $70 million, right? The previous record was 20-something. So you're talking about shattering the record by more than 200%. So let's brace ourselves because I believe here in the United States, you're going to be lucky if you can order this fight for $40. You'll be lucky. Right? I'm guessing this fight goes off at north of $59.99. Right? They might even charge $79.99 for this fight, according to some rumors. So just understand, U.S., while you're paying $59.99, $69.99, or $79.99, and the scam they're running these days is they say, hey, pay more for high definition. Right? While you're paying ridiculous prices, just understand that our brothers in arms over in the UK are paying $29.67 and $37.11 based on today's exchange rate. Right? What I hope you do is to demand that the promoters here cut fight fans a break. Right? Understand a lower price gets them more people watching. Right? There does come a tipping point. I want the promoters here to think about the Laffer curve. There does come a point at which the fan's going to say, you know what, rather than me pay $69.99 for this fight, I'm going to go to my friend's place. I'll be number 30 in his living room, right, watching this fight without paying for it. Right? Watching this fight for the cost of a 12-pack of beer that I bring over to not look like a mooch. Right? So I hope the promoters, if they're serious about maximizing revenue, right, give the U.S. consumer the same break you're giving the British consumer. Let's talk about just research. You know I like to look at fight films. Let me encourage you to do the same. Today I want to focus on Manny Pacquiao's fight against Joshua Clotty, right? Now, let me just say, aren't you disturbed? And I know I have a lot of Pacquiao fans who are subscribers here online. And let me say, I'm a Pacquiao fan, as odd as that sounds to many of you, right? But to Pacquiao Nation, aren't you concerned by the number of uppercuts that Joshua Clotty was able to land in that fight. If you're doing your homework, if you have some money you want to bet on this fight, and you know, you're actually just trying to look at noteworthy fights and you're trying to figure out vulnerabilities, right? Whatever side of the fence you're leaning on, I encourage you to look at that Clotty fight. Look at the number of uppercuts, right? Just do that. Right? Ask yourself, as you watch the uppercuts rain in, particularly in the second half of that fight, just ask yourself, what adjustments 
is Manny Pacquiao making? Understand when you rely on hand speed to the extent that Manny Pacquiao does, you really can't have an arm bar, right? Since Pacquiao is a southpaw, you really can't have an arm bar to protect your chin from uppercuts, right? Because Pacquiao likes to stick a right jab at you and then come with the left, right? That's his game. He's a lead. He's not really a counter. So he's not going to have an arm bar to defend himself from uppercuts. Let me name another fight, then I'm going to sign off here, right? I want this to be about your analysis of these fight films, right? And let me say about Joshua Clotty. Just imagine if Clotty doesn't have a passive defense where he's covering up, letting Manny throw. Just imagine if he has an active defense, right? He's like this, and he's landing uppercuts on Manny Pacquiao, right? And he's still active. In other words, as the holes develop, he doesn't have his hands up where he has to untangle himself. He has hands free, so he can throw left hooks, uppercuts, etc. So take a look at that Joshua Clotty fight. Keep in mind, too, and it's significant, right? Alex Ariza was with Manny Pacquiao back then. Now, whatever you think was going on, whatever you think was going on, you need to ask yourself whether Pacquiao still has the snap and the stamina that he had when Alex Ariza was part of his team, right? Ariza is no longer part of the Pacquiao team, right? The second fight I want you to look at is Floyd Mayweather against Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Now you've heard Freddie Roach of late say that Mayweather has a problem with southpaws, right? The Ghost is a southpaw. Right? Lead straight right hand. My point to you is as you watch Mayweather's fight against Robert Guerrero, a southpaw, don't believe what hacks like me say here online. Don't believe what trainers who are being paid by fighters say about their fighter, their bread and butter. Don't believe what other fighters of that trainer, in this case Miguel Cotto, who's trained by Freddie Rose, have to say about a fighter's chance in a fight. Because understand, they're conflicts of interest. Right? I, I can't love my trainer, want to support what he's doing, and then go out and say that the other fighter who he's training, right, is at a disadvantage. Right? Rather than believe any of us, what I want you to do is to look at the Guerrero film. Look at the punch stat numbers. Absorb what your own eyes are telling you. And then Leave your comment here in the comment section to this video on whether you think Floyd Mayweather today has a problem with southpaws. Right? That's the question. Keep in mind, too, he's fighting Guerrero, who, let's be blunt, is better in the pocket than Manny Pacquiao. I'll agree. Guerrero can't move like Manny Pacquiao. No one can. Right? But understand, you have Floyd, and keep in mind, Floyd's the one moving in that fight, right? You have Floyd against Guerrero. You just saw the fight that Guerrero put up against Keith Thurman. You just saw how competitive that fight was, right? What I want you to do is to listen to the crowd in the later rounds of that fight, cheering on Robert Guerrero. Right? Against the young lion. As you saw Mayweather Guerrero, were the later rounds as competitive as the later rounds of Guerrero 
against Keith Thurman, right? What is it that stopped Guerrero, right? Was Floyd accurate in that fight? Do your own independent research. Just understand, though, the thesis here. If Manny Pacquiao is vulnerable to uppercuts as he lunges in, right? If he's vulnerable to uppercuts, as he appeared to be in the Joshua Clotty fight, and if Floyd Mayweather knows how to land right hands as a southpaw comes in on him, right? I mean, what's the difference between the straight right hands that Floyd Mayweather is landing against Robert Guerrero and the punch that takes out Manny Pacquiao in that last Marquez fight. Tell us the difference here, right? All we're doing is comparing notes. I don't want to say my conclusions because I know what will happen. People here online will say I'm biased. I'm on the Mayweather payroll, which I'm not, right? I favor the black guy. I never favor the white guy. I have something against Filipinos, right? I've, I've heard the full litany. What I want is your own independent film study. No doubt Pacquiao won the Clotty fight by a wide margin. No doubt. Right? But was Clotty landing uppercuts? What adjustments did Pacquiao make with regard to Floyd and Southpaws? Right? Let's just look at a recent fight. The Robert Guerrero fight. We know what Robert has in the tank because we just saw him on PBC against Keith Thurman. Did he look that way against Floyd Mayweather? Did Mayweather land right hands to punch you throw against Southpaws along with the left hook? Right, which? Mayweather's left hook is one of the sport's best punches. Look at the Diego Corrales fight. Right, how did Floyd do in your opinion against Southpaw Robert Guerrero? Let's discuss it. Before we consider the viewpoints of Pacquiao's promoter, Bob Arum, Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach. Other fighters trained by Manny Pacquiao. Excuse me, trained by Freddie Roach. Miguel Cotto. Before we consider all of that, let's consider these films. Take a look. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for us here in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.